Puma was established in Germany in 1948. Today, it's one of the largest sport and lifestyle brands in the world, working with collaborators such as Rihanna, Big Sean, and Selena Gomez. Puma's logo is also one of the world's most recognizable emblems, which has evolved since the first iteration 70 years ago. The original Puma logo featured the brand's mascot, an actual Puma, which is a species of big cats. The logo depicted a Puma leaping through a capital D. The D was for Dassler, honoring the brand's founder, Rudolf Dassler. Rudolf wanted Puma products to embody the characteristics of their feline namesake, speed, strength, suppleness, agility, and endurance. Before Puma, brothers Rudolf and Addy had co-founded Gebruda Dassler Schuhfabrik, which in English means Dassler Brothers Shoe Factory. The two fell out and formed their own companies. Addy Dassler founded Adidas, and Rudolf started Ruda, which he later renamed Puma. Both brands are still based in the brothers' hometown of Herzogenaurach. In 1957, Rudolf added details to his original logo, with the word Puma placed under the leaping cat. A year later, the words Rudolf Dassler Schuhfabrik were added within the logo's border. In that same year, Puma gained its second ever trademark, the Formstrip, or Formstreifen in German. The Formstrip is a band that spans the length of a shoe, starting from the heel and finishing at the sole. Although initially added as a functional feature, stabilizing the foot inside the shoe, the shape of the Formstrip reflected the brand's identity as imagined by Dassler, evoking a pouncing predator. These days, the form strip plays a mostly aesthetic role, but it remains a crucial part of Puma's brand imagery. In the early 1960s, the Puma form strip experienced success on the world stage. German sprinter Armin Hari won two gold medals while wearing Puma footwear at the 1960 Olympics in Rome, and football icon Pele wore Puma cleats before succumbing to injury early in the tournament, as Brazil won the 1962 World Cup in Chile. By 1968, Puma was on a roll. To keep up with rivals such as Adidas and Nike, the brand had expanded its range to include sportswear and bags. By this point, the brand's logo was a simple leaping puma, with borders and text removed. Two years later, this version was refined. Designed by cartoonist Lutz Backus, the puma icon was a minimalist depiction of the leaping feline, similar to the puma branding we recognize today, a testament to the design's durability. In 1973, New York Knicks point guard Walt Frazier, better known as Clyde, became the face of Puma in the NBA, his signature suede Puma Clyde sneakers popularizing the brand with b-boys, skaters, and hip-hop legends throughout the 70s and 80s. Puma experimented with two different fonts in the mid-70s, settling on the heavy sans serif uppercase wordmark we know today. The modern Puma logo was finally created in 1979. Puma refers to this design as the number one logo, and it holds the same legendary status as the Nike swoosh or Adidas three stripes. The number one logo features the silhouette of a Puma leaping over the upper right corner of the wordmark. The Puma icon's ears became more pronounced and its eyes and mouth were lost as the image became a silhouette. But since these last changes, Puma's logo has remained untouched for decades, an impressive legacy by any standard. Perhaps one of the most noteworthy uses of Puma branding occurred in 1996 when UK sprinter Linford Christie wore Puma logo contact lenses at a press conference before the Summer Olympic Games in Atlanta. The stunt shocked observers at the time, not least official Olympic sponsor Reebok. Today, Puma remains one of the world's most revered sportswear and lifestyle brands. Its number one logo and form strip branding are as recognizable as the Nike swoosh or the McDonald's golden arches. Like its feline inspiration, it is adapted to changing times and different environments, and to this day remains a big cat in the sportswear jungle. If you like this video on the history of the Puma logo, hit subscribe, leave a comment, and share with a friend.